The fertile valley of Alazani, in the region of Cajeti, is renowned because of the excellence of its grapes and because it is the source of outstanding wines such as Ginza Marauli and Gurdjiani. But this area, with a mild and pleasant climate, is not only known for its fantastic wine production. Every day, a basic culinary work of art, known as shoti, is made in rural homes. Long loaves of rustic bread, baked in the traditional style. The women also make interesting desserts such as churchela, sausage-shaped sweets made with thickened white grape juice and filled with walnuts, which are then strung up and hung out to dry. Much of what is made or grown in the villages is sold in small markets, which are full of the color and freshness of agricultural products. Most noticeable are the smiling faces and the traders' great sense of humor, which make them extremely easy to deal with. This is one of the most gratifying rewards for any traveler visiting Georgia a country whose culture is so intrinsically tied to the grape. We have, I think, ideal location for grape growing because nearby there are very high Caucasian mountains and uh, down is Alazani Valley. And uh, we are well protected from the very, very cold winters and cold winds. Georgia is unique with its grape varieties. Uh, we have around uh, 400 different grape varieties. So consequently, the wines from these grapes are different from uh, wines uh, made uh, in different countries because these grape varieties are unique and unique uh, uh, for Georgia and unique for the world. Signagi is one of the smallest towns in the country. But it has the second longest wall in the world after China. Urban regeneration and its popularity within the whole region of Cajeti have made it a delightful place to visit. This town, known as the City of Love, is also celebrated for its renowned grape harvest. Once again, Dancing confirms that one of the defining characteristics of the Georgian people is to have a good time and to enjoy life to the full. To uncover the first steps of human beings, we must go back to prehistory. The land south of Tbilisi were inhabited by Homo Georgicus, the forerunner of the first European civilizations, as proven by the remains of bones found in this unique archaeological site of worldwide importance. In Dvanisi we found earliest humans out of Africa. This skull is 1.8 million years old. This is oldest presence humans out of Africa. This is most primitive humans ever found in whole Eurasia. I think Manisi is a very important spot also for future tourism to tell story about first Europeans. It's a big international project with participation of several international institutions. It's very important for Georgian science and it's very important for the future of the Georgia. The city of Uplistike was founded 1,600 years before Christ 
And although the Mongols destroyed a large portion of the original 700 caves, there are still some 270 left today that were inhabited by local tribes and monks until the latter part of the 18th century. In the third toast of the Supra, the eloquence of the Tamada continues. <coughs> The Zhvari Monastery is perched on top of the hill on which Saint Nino erected a wooden cross that symbolized the triumph of Christianity in Georgia. Nino arrived in Mitzcheta, the ancient capital of Caucasian Iberia, during the first third of the first century AD. And because he cured Queen Nana of a serious illness, the queen converted and ordered the building of the first Christian church in her kingdom, Svetitskoveli, which was later transformed into a cathedral. They say it is built on top of where Christ's tunic is buried and above the tomb of Sidonia, the sister of a Jew who brought this sacred item of clothing from Golgotha. A cypress grew on the spot and was cut down. Saint Nino prayed, and his prayers led to one of the seven supporting pillars of the church becoming entwined with a fallen tree. Besides the font in which it is said that Midian III was baptized, the king who in the year 337 established Christianity as the official religion of Georgia, there is a symbolic replica of the Chapel of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, which makes Svetitskoveli the second most sacred place in the world. This cathedral, a World Heritage Site, also houses the tomb of Vakhtang I Gorgasali, that of the last Georgian king, Georgi XII, and of his father, Erekli II, the latter one decorated with a coat of arms and a saber. An interesting zodiacal sphere surrounding the figure of the Redeemer. 13th century frescoes and St. Sidonia's funerary monument.